Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create six option hexagon slide in PowerPoint. And you can see this is the hexagon here. I have created like a glass effect here. And when I click, it will show you the first option. Again, you can see the same glass effect with the shades and all those things. Then the second option comes from the center, the third, fourth fifth and the option six and i have used very uh, very good color combinations for this one so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint add a new slide and give any gradient background for example i have given something this color which is a sky blue the blue gray and a dark blue gray it's up to your choice which color you like to use it here then go to view, enable the guides, come to insert tab, shapes, under basic shapes, select hexagon, which got six sides, draw a small hexagon, then align center, align middle, and shape fill, I'm just going to give temporary a uh, light gray color and shape outline i'm going to make it white and i'm going to increase the width so i'll just select maybe this much i'm going to add one more by pressing ctrl d bring it aside increase the size a little bit maybe this much and then i'm going to give a underline i'm going to give a gradient line for this so I'm just going to select a gradient line and I will select maybe a gray color. Then I will select a white color to give the glass looks like a glass effect. And this also I'll make it gray and let it be this color. And then I'm coming to the fill. In this one, select the gradient fill. I'm going to remove all those things. I'm just going to keep only two stops. One, I'm go going to make it white. The other, if you want, you can make it also white, both white. And the type, I'm going to select radial and select from center this one I'm just going to not this this one this top I'm going to select make it fully transparent and increase the size a little bit here or add one more then bring this i'll increase the size further align center align middle so you got kind some kind of a glass effect send this to back now i'm going to make another shape so go to insert shapes select this one which is top corner surrounded you can select maybe a white color and outline let it be a light gray color or i'll make it no outline then i'm going to add one more shape go to insert shapes and under basic shapes select this gun uh, sorry this one which is trapezoid draw the trapezoid rotate the shape flip vertical give same white fill and no outline and you have to perfectly align this 
you can see it's perfectly aligned if you want to reduce the sorry if you want to reduce the size a little bit you can make it more drag this inside so you got this shape if you want a bigger also you can make it somewhat bigger and then select both these objects go to format merge shapes say union so it becomes one particular object so i'm going to put this on top because the size is very much bigger i'm just going to reduce it and press ctrl d to duplicate add one more and give the same gradient fill which we have used for this or you can select this option go to format painter and put it here the same effect and increase the size a little bit and here sorry i'm not going to make it 100 percent this also i'll just make it more light i'll select the radial something like this this is also i'll make it more it should come like a, a glass feeling and then i'm just going to add it here increase a little bit and then send this to back and this color i'm going to use some gradient i'm going to give two different colors let me just make it two stops only use some nice color combination first i'm going to select maybe a kind of a pink and here i'm going to select a kind of a light pink or purple whatever make it radial if this color does not match change the color also you can change it easily maybe like this we can make it more darker also and then you can select this again once again press ctrl d i'm going to give a kind of a shadow effect so i'm going to cut this one insert shapes select any shape and rotate it so i'm going to cut this much part how much part you want to cut you can select that one select this option and then this object merge shape and say subtract you end up with this one make it no outline and you can further give the transparency look the effect and exactly place it here so you can see that you got that the glass look and then i'm just going to add the text to it so i'll just say this is my zero one increase the size sorry increase the size if you want to make it bold or not required make it white color and add it here as well you can add the text so for text again i'm going to do the same thing add your text here center align make it white reduce the size put it here then i'm going to select this 
press control G to group it control D to duplicate it and add it here just drag or tilt a little bit bend it put this one here then control D move this side make sure that you're aligning properly again control D put this side So this is the fifth option. And then the last option. All right, and then you can just change the numbers to two, sorry, three, four. five and six now if you feel difficult to read these numbers you can just turn these numbers also so this is three it looks like okay four five and six and then you can come change the color one by one I'm just going to give a different color for this maybe I'll use this color with some different color here or different shade so likewise you can come and select any color you like to have this one I'll say maybe a uh, orange with yellow would be so you get this kind of effects so and if you have the icons also you can add the icons if you want to add the icons just go to insert click on icons maybe i'm going to add this icon insert i'll put it here I'll make it a gray color so this is how you can make your own custom designs now it's time to add some animation before adding the animation I'm going to group these objects one by one let me just select this object and say group it that is already grouped and then I will select this so mostly all our objects are already grouped if it is not you need to group it so I'm just going to select this first option close the properties go to animations enable the animation pane and click the down arrow go to more entrance effects and I'm going to select basic zoom and just say ok double click and zoom say in from screen center and say ok so it comes from here and then I'm going to use the animation painter to copy the animation to other options so first I'll select this double click the animation painter just 
keep on clicking on the options and that's it so if you see here if I play here only this will come so this is how this slide going to work that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye